Should a person on hospice be treated for antibiotics when they have a urinary tract infection? My name is Katie Duncan. I'm a nurse practitioner and an end of life coach. This answer actually does vary person to person. Every person on hospice needs to be assessed by their hospice team to decide where they are in their disease trajectory, how close they are to their death, where are they in their disease process, in their dying process. Are they still awake and alert? Are they still able to swallow and take medications? Are they experiencing? experiencing symptoms? Are they symptomatic? And what are their goals of care? There are so many different questions to be asking here. Generally speaking, if a person is awake and alert, they know what's going on, they're experiencing symptoms, and they're able to take medications, antibiotics, generally speaking, are helpful for symptom management. It doesn't mean that we won't see repeat infections as that body continues to shut down, especially in certain disease processes, and especially as that dying process continues. There are other medications that are not antibiotics that also help to treat that person's symptoms as well. We also always have to assess the benefit versus the risk. Antibiotics do have burdens that they cause, even for healthy people, things like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. They can actually lead to more serious infections. It can also further cause kidney damage. If you are interested in learning more about how to support people at the end of life or how to support their families, we have our next certified end of life practitioner training cohort coming up in April. Our registration is open and you can learn more at our free training at deathcarecoach.com.